in the Lake District and it's 5D Classic time again with a 1635 F4 IS. I found a nice little bit at the side of Dome Water. We're going to take a picture. It's probably going to be a long exposure because it's just on the balance between golden hour and blue hour, which is a really nice spot to be. So we're getting just a tiny bit of those golds and reds still in the picture. Those blues are coming through as well, which is giving us a nice little bit of two-tone, but pushing predominantly more to the blue now. So my 5D Classic's here on the tripod. It's going to be a long exposure and I want to try and get these rocks into the foreground and get the mountains with the mist on them in the background. Now I'm thinking is on my 16 to 35, it'll be better if I can get more towards the 35 millimeter end of things because I want to try and make the mountains in the background bigger. What you're seeing at the moment on this makes them look very small, but in reality, they're quite large. And that's an effect of the lens. So let's have a look at the setup that I'm gonna do, the composition and the settings that I'm gonna be using for it. If you can see this here, the sun's setting from that direction and it's lighting these rocks. What that means is it's going to give them a lot of shape. It's going to give them that texture and, and mood as well, and a bit of color. And the background, the mountains, are also lit up slightly, and you'll see them better later. So I want to try two compositions with this. I want to try one where the rocks are very dominant in the foreground and one where they're less dominant. I will probably take one picture focused on the rocks and one on the background so I can focus stack these images. I'm going to be at ISO 100 because there's no reason to not be at ISO 100 because I'm on a tripod. I'm going to be at F11 to try and get as much depth of field as possible. And then we'll sort the shutter speed out from there. So let's see what it is. So at the moment, the camera is giving me a two and a half second exposure. As I've taken that first shot, I'm realizing I want to move back because the rocks look really nice and I want to feature them more in the frame, I think now. So I'm moving back slightly so I can get them more in and I want to be able to zoom in a little bit more as well. So even in that time frame, I'm now at a four second exposure. The sun's really going down. My lens is, I think it's about 30 millimeters right now. So you can see my histograms looking pretty good. Everything's exposed nicely. So now on this last picture, I'm zooming into 35 millimeters just to give me an option of, of the mountains being larger. Can a 5D Classic handle a situation like this? Of course it can, it's easy for it. No problem whatsoever, ISO 100, we're on a tripod. There's nothing difficult about this for a 5D Mark I. So let's see what the final result was. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment and I'll try and get back to you as well. And I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.